it's going to be a real shame for our kids. Yeah, they're the losers. And it's, yeah. In terms of academic achievement, Wake County is a nationally recognized school system. Because of the good schools here, the economy has actually boomed and prospered. Are they really trying to reverse all that we've accomplished in these last 30 years? Big money is definitely trying to change people's lives here. The Koch brothers are um, fabulously wealthy billionaire um, oil barons. Free enterprise, capitalism is alive and well. And they're definitely pushing an agenda to resegregating the schools, but there's also a real push towards privatization. The Koch brothers, of course, have a national libertarian agenda and they have brought it to Wake County by means of the school board elections and they want to destroy really the model of equal schools, equal opportunity for every child. It has also sparked this protest right in front of the Wake County School Administration building. They do not like a large public school system. And they were determined to take it apart as quickly as they could. The Wake County School Board threatens to turn back the clocks to an era of segregation. We must stand up and fight back. We're on the record talking about the most significant local school board election since the 1970s. Follow the money, you can see it, it's real. The connection between the um, Koch brothers and what happened here with the Wake County School Board could probably be best traced if you look at Americans for Prosperity. My brother Charles and I provided the funds to start uh, the Americans for Prosperity. played a very important role in the Wake County School Board elections. The future of the Wake County school system is on the line. In just a few weeks, four of those school board seats are up for grabs. The Koch brothers didn't put money directly into the Wake School Board elections, but indirectly, Americans for Prosperity put hundreds of thousands of dollars and a lot of effort into helping the school board candidates get first organized and then nominated and elected. It's beyond my wildest dreams how AFP has grown. It was the Americans for Prosperity and the Koch brothers. They were like in the Wizard of Oz, the Oz behind the scene, pulling levers and making things happen. I really had no idea. We worked so hard running yeah. for school board oh, yeah. and to know that our opponents were backed by these billionaires. For me, my opponent. We had forums and debates and she really pitched forced busing. The school board crossed the line with forced busing. Forced busing is absolutely a code word. It's a term busing used in the South by George Wallace. Segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. The voters in Wake County and North Carolina have rejected uh, a forced busing policy. We are winning the battle against my opponent, he just mainly talked about, he stressed neighborhood schools. Neighborhood schools, neighborhood schools, neighborhood schools. Neighborhood schools means we have our own schools and the blacks have theirs. So we heard loud and clear across this county, people wanted to go to a neighborhood schools model. We should have our right to choose our, our own neighborhood, our own neighborhood schools. He didn't talk about student achievement and helping all our schools get better. There are always ways to improve the education of our students. He would just read the script. We have too many students traveling long distance to attend high schools and high, high school classes in the schools in our districts that do not perform. We went to a gunfight with knives. The heated race is over. Justice! What do we want now? And don't make any mistake about it. Your plan that you're putting forth today will resegregate the schools. We had no idea what the stakes were. In one election, they now have the majority needed to change the way students are assigned to school. A big shakeup on the Wake County School Board could now impact tens of thousands of local families.
people have not really taken the time to listen to the students who are actually in these programs. We met before sixth grade and we were in the dance ensemble together. We consider each other twin sisters. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the diverse school system, I don't think we really would have had a chance to become such close friends. This pretty much describes my education since kindergarten. This is diversity. When you walk in our classroom and you see the different types of students and the different people, this picture really does represent what it actually is. Moses, come on, it's time to get up. Let's get started. Robert, let's go. Y'all come on and let's go, we gotta get ready. We want to make sure that they get the best education that public money can buy. Well, oh, there you go. One down. With that idea, we've been able to make sure that they are receiving advanced classes. The school board has started the process of phasing out the busing for diversity policy. They're moving so quickly with what they want to do. We're not going anywhere! It happens so fast and they're going to continue. The more they have in power, they're going to change the rules, the laws, whatever they can. I think you'll find that the student voice has kind of been lost through this whole process. Let's go! The Koch brothers and uh, America for uh, uh, prosperity and that ideology is very simple. What they're actually trying to do is dismantle the whole public school system. If this policy goes to the schools will become segregated. Uh, I don't believe the courses, they will not have opportunities to take the advanced courses. That's critical that they have opportunities, resources, so that they can become a productive citizen. I think the Koch Brothers America's Prosperity will end up creating resegregated schools um, and harming us economically in the long run. There would be enormous impacts on the schools, especially in the urban parts of the county. So you'd have an enormous concentration of poverty in that school. And with it comes all the related social problems. People aren't going to want to teach at that school. And suddenly, education in that school is going to suffer. It worries me about my sons because we had a game plan. We did not think we were going to have to change. Do you have your agenda so you can see what your assignment is? If we don't get ready, it's going to be even rougher, nastier than what it is. I am a part of the first group of students moved. I strongly feel that it's racism. I strongly feel that it's segregation. And it was all by surprise, all on short notice. I've lost my communication with the teachers, relationships with the students. I'm just disconnected right now. The school board's decision to do segregation has really made it difficult for students like me to adjust and kind of grow. What happened here really woke people up. Battle lines are drawn for the issue of diversity in the Wake County schools. There was a tremendous outcry over what the school board was doing and tremendous resistance to moving backwards. People got really riled up and pushed back hard. There were enormous protests at the school board meetings. People were arrested. We're heading down a rabbit hole, and we're getting so far down that rabbit hole, there's not going to be a way to get out of it. The local NAACP filed a civil rights complaint with the federal government. Fight we will for the future of our children. They also filed a complaint with the accreditation agency. Backwards never, forward never. We don't want to be left out of this decision because we're the ones going to school. And tonight, board members voted to immediately halt the progress towards neighborhood schools. We can definitely win but we have to go back to where it started. The Koch brothers, their agenda is to tear down the public school system, not only here, but this is the starting point. Wake County is now attuned to the fact that the Koch brothers' influence is here, dismantling the public schools, and I'm hopeful that we're gonna be able to stop that. 
I would call the Koch brothers wickedly smart, dangerous, and they need to go away. To the Koch brothers, why don't you just leave? Leave us alone so that we can continue to grow and prosper. Leave our children alone. Hey,